Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Silati. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.6 from the chapter number 4. The problem is, a majority circuit is a combinational circuit whose output is equal to 1 if the input variables have more 1s than zeros. Okay, the output is 0 otherwise. If we have suppose 3 number of inputs, if there are 2 number of 1s, and one zeros that means the number of ones is greater than the number of zeros then the output function will give one value now we are given with three conditions the first condition is design a three input majority circuit here we will have three number of inputs okay by finding the circuits truth table first of all we have to make the truth table then we have to find out the boolean equation okay and then we have to draw the logic diagram in the second part of the problem we have to find out how many number of NAND gates are required that means two input in NAND gates that are needed to implement this function that means after finding out the boolean equation then we have to represent the equation in terms of NAND so we have to express the boolean equation in terms of NAND input okay and we have to find how many two input NAND gates are required to implement this given boolean function in the third part we have to write a very log data flow model of this circuit that means in the third part we have to write a very log gate level description of this circuit okay now let us solve this problem in the first part we have to find out three input majority circuit okay so we'll have three number of inputs let the inputs are x y and z suppose this is part a okay and we'll have function output function f so for three inputs we'll have eight number of combinations okay these are the eight combinations okay now for as per the majority function definition we have to see the number of ones for each input suppose here we have 0 0 0 we have three zeros and zero number of ones okay so here we'll have value zero here also a single one and two zeros okay so we'll have zero values here also zero and here we have two ones and one zero that means the number of ones is greater than the number of zeros so we'll have one here here we'll have zero and here's one one and one now we'll make the three variable map of this function f. So k map for function f. Okay. So we have three inputs x, y, and z. Zero one zero 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 one 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 zero. Okay. So here we have to put this f values. So zero 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 one zero 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 one. Then we have zero one one one. 0 1 1 1 okay so how we can combine we can combine like this so here we'll have three terms okay so f is equal to suppose for this term what we'll get it is yz then it will be added to so from this term we'll have xz xz plus from this term what we'll get it is xy xy so this is the boolean equation so we have found this truth table and boolean equation then we have to draw the logic diagram if we have three inputs x y and z so first of all we have suppose y z so y z you say n get here we'll get y z then find out x z x and z okay so x z then we have x y x y x y okay then we have to add this three so here we'll get the output function f okay so this is the majority circuit majority function circuit so first part is complete now we have drawn this logic logic diagram okay then in the second part we have to find out the two input nand gates okay to input NAND gates that are required to implement this function. Now we have to represent this equation 1 in terms of two input NAND gates. Suppose in the part B we have to write again f equal to yz plus zx plus xy. So if we take two times complement the function will be the same. Okay now let us remove this complement. So a plus b plus c whole bar. So using De Morgan's theorem we can write it as yz whole bar into zx whole bar into xy whole bar okay so we have again complement so here we can see that 
we have this is nothing but a nano operation between y and z multiplication and complement here also we can see that it is a multiplication and complement here also we can see that multiplication and complement and for all of these three we have two inputs this is y and z are the inputs two inputs and here also z and x are the two inputs okay that means this three operation this is yz whole bar azx whole bar and xy whole bar we have two input nand gate okay and after and overall also we can see if we suppose this is one term this is another term suppose a into b into c whole bar this is another nand operation but this is three input okay so we will have as part of the question we have to find out the number of nand gates with two inputs so we will have we have three number of two input nand gate so second part of the problem is complete so we will have three number of two input nand gate now let us go to our third part in the third part we have to find out a very log gate level description of this circuit so in the third part let us write down the very log gate level description so very log gate level description starts with module in the last chapter we have seen this okay so we'll write module problem underscore four underscore six this is nothing but 4.6 we have expressed like this okay then we have to write the outputs and inputs so output is f output f inputs are and input do not write inputs huh inputs are x y and z here we can see that we have three inputs x y and z and one output f okay so from this circuit we have to write the very log gate level description in the second step we have to write this operation that means first of all we have to do the n operation then or operation now let us use assign okay so we'll write x and y this is n operation okay then y and z then z and x so these are the three multiplication operations x y y z and z x okay so these are the multiplication we have found now we have to add this so we'll use here or operation so we'll write here f equal to these are the n operation x y plus y this is uh, or this is or or nothing but it is plus addition okay so we'll write here semicolon in the first line also we'll have to give semicolon then we have to write the n module n module okay so this is the very log gate level description of this circuit okay you can see that this is the very log gate level description of this circuit so this is the solution of the problem number 4.6 from the chapter number 4 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you